Good afternoon. Uh, someone once said that success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Today I'm here for us to challenge ourselves. I want to talk about success with languages. I believe that this is a success that everyone is able to attain and that everyone can achieve. Experiential learning of languages. This is learning through life, letting life teach you. Not sitting inside a classroom, all bored, looking at the blackboard, that's theoretical learning. This is experiential learning, like teaching yourself how to play piano or teaching yourself a new sport, teaching yourself a new language. Sometimes, well not sometimes, all the times, when people talk about languages, there's an automatic block that comes up. People just go, no, no, no. Scientists have proven that after the first six months of birth, babies are unable to distinguish and sometimes unable to reproduce foreign sounds. And that after puberty, your brain practically collapses on itself and you're unable to learn languages. And despite this, over your secondary school career, you're exposed to one or two different foreign languages. And that is why you're often never able to attain fluency in these languages. Nevertheless, I beg to differ. I believe that one can learn languages. It's timeless and it's ageless, and languages are very important. When I was eight years old, for no good reason my parents could explain at the time, they just said, hey, you, French school, right now. I'd never spoken French a day in my life. They put me in a French school. I was put in special classes with lots of other kids that couldn't speak French. And funny enough, the rule was, with my non-existent vocabulary in French, I was only allowed to speak French. <laughs> For me, this is uh, the best example of being thrown into the deep end. Nevertheless, four months later, I was fluent in French. How did it happen, you may ask? Not because of special classes or having to conjugate lots of verbs or having to do lots of grammar exercises, because I had to immerse myself in the language and communicate. I was forced to go out on the playground, on the football pitch, and speak to people, have them laugh at me because I made so many mistakes, go home, cry to my mommy, but I never made the same mistake twice. That's how I learned the language, on the football pitch. What people often don't know, because they can never be bothered to learn another language, is that after you learn the first one, the second one, the third one becomes easier to learn. This is because languages often come from the same root. When this is all of my experience with learning Spanish, I don't claim to be fluent in Spanish at all. My Spanish is probably terrible. But believe it or not, the most fluent I've ever been in Spanish was doing two weeks in Spain. Then again, put in a situation where I was forced to speak the language, whether it was asking for directions or making dinner reservations. I was there and I had to speak the language. And this is when you make connections between languages, especially Latin-based languages. I think to myself, oh, what's yesterday in Spanish? It's hier in French. Ayer, yes, you remember. And you use the vocabulary words and you gain more words. This is how you learn more languages. And now you say to yourself, why is this important? What is this going to bring me? What does this have to do with success? First of all, language is the key to our past. In my culture, especially the African culture, language is what you use to transmit things from generation to generation. Our history has been transmitted orally. Without language, this would not be possible. Without language, we would, I would not be able to communicate with my grandfather. I know that listening to him, his stories, different Nigerian proverbs, will help me know more about my culture and my history compared to reading a lot of history books. Sorry to all the history teachers in here, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and for, most importantly, second of all, language is the most basic and most fundamental method humans can interact and communicate with each other. We live in a world that's becoming smaller and smaller, which means we're going to have to interact with each other more and more. This makes sense. But how can you aspire to become successful if you cannot communicate with people? It doesn't even make sense. Success with languages, being multilingual in the world of tomorrow, will guarantee your success. This is what I believe in my humble 
humblest opinion, with only 17 years of experience. But success with languages is the success of sharing. Of su right now, the success of me telling you my story, you understanding it, and maybe later we can talk about it and you can tell me about yours. This is success that every single person in this room can attain one day, and success that everyone outside can attain one day. So since we've established the fact that language is very important, especially for us in our future, and that it's relatively easy to acquire if you put yourself in the right situation and you have the right tools, what is stopping us? What is stopping everyone in here? There's a Nigerian proverb that says, when you wake up, that is your morning. So please tell me when it will be your morning. Thank you very much.